stand a chance in this match. You gotta remember, oh. it was Taylor Hendricks that took a baseball bat to Jordan Grace's knee in October of 2016, effectively taking her out of tournament for today, instead inserting herself, and Jordan Grace has been on a search to find a new tag team partner. It seems like Lufisto could Whoa. be it. And very smart, Lufisto, Jordan Grace know that they need to neutralize not only their opponents, but also Davy Cash, Chris Pyro, and Anthony Stone on the floor. I believe this is the first time we've seen all five members of the Secret City Soldiers ringside oh, for a match. Goes. Oh, look! Oh! They were going for that uh, very effective finishing maneuver. I gotta ask them what they call it. But either way, Lufisto was dragged out of the ring, and now Lufisto basically has oh. a four-on-one fight on the floor, while Tony P is focused on Taylor Hendricks and Jordan Grace. And Taylor Hendricks back in control, here we go. Oh, just a one count on that. Uh, cartwheel palm strike, I guess. Lufisto and Alexis fighting on the floor. But it's really on the floor, it's really four on one. The hoods are all out there it too. It really is four on one. Of course, you saw Alexis align herself with the hoods at Women's Wrestling Revolution, second event revolutionary, prior to American Rana 16. Both of those shows that you can watch at youtube.com slash beyond demand. Oh! And perhaps we're gonna see a head scissors. Jordan Grace has the strength to hold Whoa. on until Alexis interjected herself. And look, Alexis, Alexis still taking care of Lufisto on the outside. She's not anywhere near her own corner. Lufisto is completely on the opposite side of the ring from where she needs to be. You saw the moment that Tony P took his eyes Whoa. off the action on the floor. Davy Cash pushed Lufisto Ooh. down to the ground. And now we see Alexis and Taylor Hendricks. This was the tandem that defeated Jordan Grace and Tiana Perrazzo at Overnight Sensation. Jordan Grace then teaming with Karen Q of Party Animals coming up short again to you and Sonya Strong. But again, looking for a measure of revenge. I mean, this was the tandem, again, taking a baseball bat to somebody's knee when you're a physical specimen like Jordan Grace. I mean, months on the shelf, oh. you can lose your strength. I mean, you don't come back the same wrestler you were. And, uh, oh. oh, my goodness. Like, what? How, how can such a small human being have so much power behind some of the strikes he throws? That Larry, it was vicious. You've been in the ring with all four of these competitors. I have. And Alexis is the hardest striker of all of them, even even harder than Lufisco. Uh, Alexis is one of the hardest strikers I've ever been in a ring with, period, male or female. I think Alexis and Taylor Hendricks complement each other very well. They have matching gear, which is always impressive to me. And they always say nice things about each other a lot. Get it? Compliment? Yeah. Double DDT. She spiked her right in her head. No! Jordan Grace, though, she has to make a tag somewhere in here. It's funny, whereas Alexis and Taylor Hendricks are almost two opposite ends of the spectrum. That's why they work together as a team. I think that Lufisto and Jordan Grace work well together because they're so similar. Oh. This time she caught the leg and using that unbelievable strength. Oh! oh. Backpack stunner! Could this be it? Someone needs to make a tag here. Well, Jordan Grace unable to make a cover instead. 